Hi guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at how you can write in a multiple people column in SharePoint. Yeah, that was a long sentence. So it's not that uh, easy because when you write on a, on a people picker, on a column, person's column in SharePoint from Power Automate, you can use the UPN or the email and so on and it will find the person. But what if you have like a, like a number of people? Let's say um, in the previous video we learned how you can concat how you can uh, yeah, how you can eliminate the, the duplicates for for multiple people and send an email and then we had like an array of um, a number of uh, emails not three emails four emails and so on and then we send an email with that but you know, if you want to to, br to bring that um, that array of, of uh, emails into a multi-person column it's not that easy because um, that, that will not be recognized and um, I was struggling to find a solution to this uh, to, to this issue and um, I didn't find any videos so I thought like I, I, why not make one um, so give it a thumbs up if you like it and uh, make sure to subscribe, subscribe to the channel but first let's take a look how we can do it so we are back again to this um, SharePoint list that we've been using for the last couple of videos and imagine now having um, another list with the owners and based on the option that is selected by the agent here option 1, option 2 and so on the owners column which is um, a person column allowing multiple selections will be filled out so Let's say here we have customer one, option one. Option one has these three owners, and I want these three names to be populated in this um, item. So how do you do that? Let's take a look. This is the agent picker flow, the one we just um, we, when we created the last video, and we will use that in a second to trigger our new flow. So let's go here and create an automated cloud flow. Let's name this um, update owner and we will use it when an item is created. So let's go to my demo site, select the uh, test list, select new step. So when an item is created in the test list, which is from the forms, I want then to um, get items from the owners list. owners and I want to filter when the title in the owners list is equals to my question 2 which means if it, when an item is here created I want to get the owners where the title option 1 is equal to the question 2 option 1 so this will be compared with this one and then it will bring all the owners that have this option one or option two based on this uh, other list um, to my new list huh? bear with me um, title equals question two okay so now with this we can we get the right owners next before we move on i want to initialize a variable because those owners uh, we want to, to save them somewhere right before we can use them uh, in the next list let's write initialize variable this one will be uh, owners let's make this an array and then on the next step I want to append to our variable which is our owners variable I want to append the owners um, email this will do and apply to each so this will go based on if it's option one, it will go here. It will say, "Ah, uh, option one has three items," and it will bring me these three uh, email uh, emails from these users, no? which is uh, a person column as well. And it will append them in my array. So now that we have that, we want to compose it into one value, right? So let's create a compose. Let's write here the owners. Let's save and test it. Say manually. Now we go to my other uh, flow, the one we uh, where we submit a form, and let's test it with an older trigger. 
So this now will create an item mm -hmm. and should trigger this flaw because this waits when an item is created. Okay, your flow runs successfully. And now we have here when an item is created, okay, get items. And like you can see here, the title equals option one. Why? Because this one, get response, the question to answer was option one. So this one is also getting the question title equals option one. And then it's doing the apply to each because it's getting those owners from the um, from the owners list. And then we have here in the compose an array with those three email addresses, as you can see here. So if we were now to go and put this um, with an update item, this compose uh, output, let's go real quick to my demo site and the, we want to update the test list. The ID will be the ID of the um, when an item is created. Hmm? Customer name needs to be um, put here as well because it's a mandatory field. And here, if I will go on and um, if I search here, I will not find any, so I have to go through this uh, enter custom value. So that's our outputs here from Compose. And let's try it out. Let's see what will happen if we just try to use the outputs from our Compose uh, array. As you can see, um, the flow failed because it is using for the user, which is these uh, square brackets, three emails, and so on and so forth, and that it cannot find find anything. So we need to use another data operation. Um, not search for the operation, search for select. Yeah, which is a, also a data operation, of course. And here we need to put the variable owners. And we are going to map the claims to the item into that variable. So to do so, we have to go into the expression and write item, item, not items, and select OK. And now we go to our update item uh, action. And here we can click that one. So we can move here to detailed inputs for, for our item. And here we can now use our select output, save it, give it a go. The one that just failed. And now it runs successfully. Why? Because this one gets each item from the um, variable and maps it with the claims. So you can see here it puts claims and then the item and so on and so forth. And here we have now our claims. As you can see, it runs successfully. Let's go to the SharePoint list, refresh the page. And here is this our new um, item we just created. And it has the three names updated in there. So as you can see, it is pretty easy to uh, go around this issue. But um, keep in mind that if you want to use multiple selection columns for persons, uh, you need to do something like that. You need to map that uh, variable. Otherwise, uh, the column will, will not find your, your, your persons that you're looking for. But you need also to keep in mind that this column here, if you go to edit, it uh, it will not work well this this function will not work if you have the selection of groups activated this is only for multiple um, selections uh, person column okay so that's it with this short video as well um, hope you liked it if you did so please give it a thumbs up and uh, make sure to subscribe and um, yeah catch you on the next one bye